morning. It's a sunny morning here. It's a bit windy, which is a bit concerning because I am heading off to London, heading on an aeroplane for the first time since having the children. I was actually working out. I don't think I've flown on my own for something like 17 years. Isn't that crazy? Because I've always either been with Steve or someone else. Um, and then since having the children, I haven't gone anywhere without them in terms of an aeroplane. So yeah, so I'm all dressed up. I've had my makeup. How beautiful is my makeup? I've had my makeup done this morning um, by my best friend, Nikki. Um, and I'm heading down to see another one of my best friends, Kirsten. So um, I did my hair this morning. I haven't totally brushed out the curls so I want them to keep for tonight because the reason that I'm heading to London is that I am going to the season six premiere of Outlander. How cool is that? Um, it's a red carpet event, but it's dressy casual, which I found really difficult to dress for us. So I've taken a lot of different outfits, hence why I've got a massive suitcase and Kirsten's got hand luggage. <laughs> but I've got lots of options. Um, I have got a tight turnaround though. when I arrive. I've only got an hour before the dinner reservation. So I've got my Heathrow Express ticket booked already. I'll hop on the Heathrow Express, takes me right into the centre of London. And then from there, our hotel is the Assembly Hotel. Um, I want to say Covent Garden, but it's actually Covent Garden and it's on, it's not actually in Covent Garden, but I got off the tube station before, I can't remember, I will update you when I'm, when I'm there and I've actually learned where I'm going. But um, I'm wearing a lovely jacket that Nikki who did my makeup bought me for my birthday. It's a beautiful Ralph Lauren sort of blazer style coat. Um, I've also laid out the children's activity clothes for after school because daddy is going to be doing the needful with that tonight because it's Thursday um, and the premiere is tonight in London um, and then there's an after party at the Sky Garden. So heading down today, I'm leaving about lunchtime, flight's at 1.20, heading into Heathrow and then obviously drop everything off at the hotel, quick turnaround. So my makeup's done, my hair is done. I'm just going to sort of flip it over a bit more at the side like that, a bit nicer than that, obviously, um, for tonight. Um, and that should be me sorted, touch up the makeup when I get there. Um, but I should be pretty much ready for a quick change and then for dinner before the dinner is going to be in the hotel. But I'll show you all of this because I'm going to take you guys along with me. Not allowed to take you into the premiere though, but you'll still be with me for the majority of my weekend and I look forward to sharing it with you. So now I'm just waiting for Steve to finish his work call and then he's going to drop me at the airport as his lunch break um, and then swing right back. We're not far from the airport so it's not too bad. Head into the lounge and get some bubbles and a bit of a snack before the aeroplane takes off. I know it's nothing new But it's so good to see you Every day, and I'm still so amazed by you. So hold me tight through the night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just us two. but also the cup of tea, cheese and biscuits, and some tomato and basil soup. Anyone who knows me knows I'm never on time. I'm always late, but when there's free food, <laughs> I'm early. <laughs> Lollipops for takeoff and landing, so I'm glad I picked this up um, in the airport. 
Well, this is rather nice. Country Homes magazine, which I only got half read when I got my hair done the other uh, week. Um, and I've got my usual tomato juice with Liam Perrings, which I always get on flights. I started off doing that when I used to fly back and forth in Manchester. Um, and it, becomes, it became like a favourite of mine um, on British Airways flights. Um, and the sparkling water. Um, I decided not to have another champagne um, just because it's going to be a long day. So that'll do me for just now. And I'm just going to do this. It's so strange being on the flight and not having the children. I really miss them and I miss Steve as well. It just feels so weird. Don't get me wrong, it's nice as well. Like the everything takes like five minutes instead of 15 minutes. So, you know, that is a good thing. But it's amazing how much you miss them not being there. You don't really notice it until you don't even think about it when you're actually doing it and then when you don't have them. It's quite strange. Um, but I'm going to sit back, relax, and enjoy it and make the most of it. And not think about the things that are missing and enjoy what's here at this moment. Cheers <laughs> to a non alcoholic tomato juice. <laughs> but hey, cheers anyway. Also, I had my very, very first Instagram follower spot today <laughs> in the airport lounge. Um, the wonderful Kelly, who's been following me for so long and is always so good on DMs. Um, and we've got up a little bit of a relationship on, on DMs. And I met her for the first time today, and she is as lovely as I imagined through her messaging. You know, you're going to get a feel for how someone is. And oh, it was just lovely to meet her. And I'm so glad she came over because I didn't get the message. I phoned mum and dad, and then I was replying to text messages and try to organise dinner for tomorrow night. Um, so I hadn't seen my Instagram. I was so annoyed when I got on and saw that there were messages, but I'm delighted that she actually came over um, and said hi. Um, so by the time this vlog goes out, she'll be back from her holiday. So I'm not like spoiling um, by saying that she's been on holiday, but um, she's gone on a fabulous trip. So I hope she's had a great time. And thank you, Kelly, for coming over and saying hi. Really did make my day, really did. Like, I've got no idea, because I was feeling a bit anxious as well about being on my phone and I just left Steve. So you honestly made me feel so nice and you're just so lovely. Thank you very much for coming over. Um, it really did make my day. Thank you. Every single day, yeah. So hold me tight through the night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just us two. Out safely. Trafalgar Square is behind me, and I'm just walking up to the Assembly Hotel now. Um, girls are getting ready, um, but I am already late, even though it's not my fault. <laughs> we knew that I was going to be a little bit shy. They are getting ready for dinner, starting. I need to touch my makeup up and touch my hair up and get changed. Uh, dinner started 10 minutes ago, <laughs> so I'm going to run up to the hotel room, get quickly changed, and then um, meet the girls for a quick dinner before we head off to the event. So luckily I've done my hair and my makeup's done. Just need to touch it up, change my clothes and um, dump everything at the hotel, pack my bag, little mini bag for good night. Um, and I will see you once I'm ready. I made it. Let's go in and get organized. later we've had dinner and we are away to head off to the premiere see you on the red carpet 
Okay, that was a very, very quick turnaround. Back to the hotel, we had a quick dinner and then quickly into our glad rags. I'm wearing my mum's jacket that she got when she got engaged 46 years ago or something. So it's a very ancient jacket. Um, I think it was one of the first of the faux furs. Um, so we, we are off to the Royal Festival Hall for the Outlander season six premiere. And we're so excited, we're in the taxi and we are on our way now. Um, and I will keep you posted. We're gonna go get some free drink at the bar. <laughs> Um, the whiskey, which was lovely, um, and then we got this little promotional thing as well, along with it, which is very really nice. And inside, let's open it up. I can't do this holding my popcorn. That's okay. Oh, thanks, Kirsten. Get this inside, which is very cool. It's a little pin, pin badge. Very cool indeed. So that's the little bits we got when we came in and this tells us our seat number and we're now sat down ready to enjoy the show. Oh, it's getting kind of wonderful. And that's the Philharmonic Orchestra down there ready to play for us and everyone is just taking their seats just now. Best television in the world. Uh, and I actually get the honour of introducing tonight the woman that was responsible for bringing Outlander home to the UK. The Saperna Cali, the President CEO. Uh, so basically, I'm standing between you all and Droughtlander being over. Okay, so my 30 minute speech, I'll, it won't feel long, I promise. It'll, it'll, be, it'll be great. But um, one that takes quite a while, as you know. Um, this was a challenging season for us uh, for many reasons, uh, mostly due to COVID. Um, I'm so, so proud of our entire production. episode of season six amazing we're all dressed up <laughs> um, we're away to go back in there's a question and answer section so we're away to go back in uh, to listen to that get a drink and then there's an after party after that after this at um and we're going to head to that 
fans. I will see you at the after party. And um, we need to fill the fans in that, that don't know them. So give them a little bit of a backstory on the Christie's and then uh, the, the new villains in town, so to speak. Diana, is that part of the fun that introduces new characters with every season? Obviously, you've written the books, but in terms of the TV, you know, the version of that, is it fun to kind of bring those into that kind of visual world? Oh, yeah. No, it's always fascinating to see when they've got a new actor playing a new character or playing a character that I know. And, uh, you know, the first time I saw uh, Mark Lewis, his first scene as Tom Christie, I immediately went on Twitter to see if he was there, and he was. I sent him a direct message. I said, boy, you've got that man cold. <laughs> I thought it was just terrific. Yeah. Well, just, I love how he's, 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 he's kind of been through the mill. We talked about this on the red carpet earlier, and about how I'm interested because he's trying to be helpful. He's trying to help people out. And part of that is about him almost, I guess, trying to find his purpose and kind of where his position is. But can you talk to me a little bit about the intentions with Amy McCallum? You know, he's kind of, I'm going to build a house. Um, what's his intentions with that, please? What are we, your we intentions? Talked about that. We have talked about that. We've had this conversation. And you said you understand. I don't know why we have to bring it up here in public. Thanks, Edith. Thanks for that. Um, I know, I mean, it, it, yeah, he does try, bless him. He does go through the mill. And he does try, and in the trying and the trying, he inevitably gets himself into some predicaments and um, uh, situations which can be misunderstood, and I think Amy McCallum is uh, one of them. But his intentions are obviously good. His intentions are obviously one of them. What? He's, I mean, he, had, well, thanks for that, Sam. He is one in a million, yeah. Um, no, he's, he's said. Uh, Journey, even in that first episode, in terms of where, you know, we have a flashback and then where we kind of find him and we get a snapshot of this this past that he has with him, Tom mm. and and that kind of baggage that he carries from that experience I think. Yeah. And there's almost so much that's said without being said in a way. But I was interested to find out in terms of the internal struggles that he's you, you think Jamie's kind of in at this point in this episode. Yeah. We are now heading downstairs to get the bus to the after party. Um, I'm wearing this little number, um, <laughs> very sparkly and very glamorous, um, but definitely not my usual Thursday night attire. The jacket's fallen off my, my shoulder. But we're going to head down and catch the bus now and then head to the after party. Glamorous Kirsten over there. <laughs> right, feeling a bit boozy, but uh, I'll have to balance out with some water when we get there. <laughs>
back and forth so much. Oh, delicious. <laughs>